Don't let the snoozer of a name fool you. The National Environment Policy Act plays a role in just about every frustrating, wonderful, exhausting thing that makes Colorado, Colorado. Now, the role will be considerably smaller if the White House has its way. So the law boils down to this. If you want to build a highway, you have to first determine if that will hurt wildlife. You want to build a power plant, you'll have to do a study of what it will do to the air the neighbors are breathing. And those studies can be extensive. Everyone from Ronald Reagan to Barack Obama has complained that it takes too long to get anything built. In 2016, the average review was reportedly taking more than five years to complete. That means no construction, no new roads, no nothing until five years of paperwork was written, read, and argued about. Well, the Trump administration thinks it's high time to cut down on the red tape and streamline the process. Environmentalists say that red tape exists for a reason and is sometimes the only thing holding together their way of life. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is going 360. Inside this hearing room is perhaps the most diverse group of people in Denver. Ranchers, truckers, oil and gas representatives, indigenous people, outdoor enthusiasts, and more. Do not allow the administration to take or mute my voice. One by one. But he does so much more than just our industry. They take turns arguing for or against changes to the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA. Tonight you'll hear from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, an environmentalist, a pro-business group, and an indigenous woman about how NEPA affects them and what changing it would mean. First, some context. NEPA is a policy that affects everything from highway construction to oil and gas development or even grazing rights, but it hasn't been changed since the 1970s. Last month, President Trump announced a proposal to update NEPA and narrow its scope. And Tuesday, Denver became home to a national discussion, the only location other than Washington, D.C., where a public hearing was held to discuss the changes. Let's figure out a common sense approach. Ed Mortimer from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce is in support of the update. He says technology has changed, roads are being used in different ways, and the current system brings everything to a grinding halt. It can take four and a half to 20 years to get a project from inception into construction. And we're not going to be able to modernize our infrastructure unless we figure out ways to streamline the process. That's why he believes the new proposal not only protects the environment, but helps industry cut through red tape. Making sure that people have clean water to drink and clean air to breathe is not a controversial topic. Environmentalists like Rebecca Sobel disagree. They say NEPA is complicated and slow for a reason, to make sure every possible consequence has been considered before moving forward on a project. The proposed rollbacks reduce public comment periods, uh, allow industry to actually self-police and write its own environmental regulations. And she believes oil and gas groups and other businesses will take advantage of the changes to cut corners. The fossil fuel industry is self-serving and does not serve the direct public health or benefit of the people. So they want things to stay the same for the sake of the environment. If you're looking for a way that NEPA affects your every day, look no further than I-70. Construction on the expansion project is underway, but NEPA slowed it significantly. The permit process for that project took over 13 years. It ended up with a document that was almost 16,000 pages in length. And they say some projects take so long that by the time the paperwork is approved, it might be dated. The time to complete the NEPA process cannot last to projects initial purpose and economic viability. So they support the changes. <laughs> Outside of the NEPA hearing, dozens gathered to protest. NEPA is one of the few tools that indigenous peoples have to stop certain projects. I feel the pain. Indigenous groups have used NEPA in the past to block the Dakota Access Pipeline, for instance. To protect our homelands and our waters and our cultural sites, our burial sites. That our minds be pure. They say the proposed changes would limit their voices because it narrows the scope of what NEPA looks like. This would mean a lot of things that affect tribes, although the project isn't directly affecting the tribe, but maybe downstream would affect the tribe, is no longer part of an analysis. But others say the updates would increase communication between the government and tribes. For decades, the National Environmental Policy Act has shaped development. This diverse group in the NEPA hearing room proposal shows just how wide-ranging the policy's effects are. Woo! It's an emotional issue, and a decision either way will have long-lasting impacts on industry and the environment. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.